out Not or Shake Reviews on YouTube. Um, Jim, Bobby, and Johnny run a movie review channel. They do typically every Thursday, but sometimes a little more. A lot of funny shit on there. Um, it's my go-to, my go-to music. Or uh, yep. not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. <laughs> Hello, Johnny here. Welcome to Not or Shake Reviews. Not if it's good, shake if it's not so good. Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. It's blockbuster season, so what we're doing is we're having a little contest. Uh, the way you enter the contest is you have to like, you have to follow Not or Shake Reviews, NOS underscore reviews on Instagram, and you have to subscribe to YouTube. Just look up Not or Shake Reviews, and then you have to answer a quiz question, and then we're going to do a drawing of whoever gets it right, and then we're going to pick a name randomly of people who get it right, and they could win a digital movie. God, that's so much information. But I've been doing this for a couple weeks now, so just watch our stuff and you'll get it. So today's question is, it's the TV, genre is TV, and the question is, what show has a musical episode called Once More with Feeling? Again, the question is, what show has a musical episode called Once More with Feeling? The only hint I'll give, and basically the answer is, it's written by Joss Whedon. Just in case there's another musical episode, Once More with Feeling. I, I doubt there is, but... So... To answer the question, you are eligible for getting a free digital code. Alrighty, on to the review. So, uh, this review is going to have spoilers, so stay tuned for the review, and then as I dissect the movie, maybe that's when you run away. So, the movie is Transformers Rise of the Beasts, I think. I didn't like it. It's not terrible it is a very i'm going to shut my brain off for the next two hours and watch things being thrown at my face for a while with some exposition i, I don't know how it's 2023 and we're still doing portals in the sky with monsters and aliens coming out like at one point like i, th I thought we kind of put the kai kibosh on that but apparently we didn't because that's something that they did in this movie. I just haven't, and this could, a lot of it could be a, a me problem. I just haven't been invested in a Transformers movie since Transformers. Everything else just kind of, like the second one lost me and I haven't tuned in since then. So there were some things I was very confused about. I don't know why this was set in 1994 and the Autobots are on Earth because they're not when Sam Wiki meets them. I don't know. But uh, it's just, you know, movies need to hear this right now. Sometimes less is better. Actually, I think my favorite Transformers movie of like all of them is Bumblebee. Yes, there's stuff that happens, just stuff flying at your face. But out of all of them, I feel like that's the most toned down. Like, I feel like when they made Bumblebee, they reviewed all the Transformers movie. And they're like, wow, that this is so much. We need to tone this down. And then they took this movie and they said, this is not enough. More explosions. So it's just... Uh, too much and the characters you don't care about the characters they're eh. why is pete davidson still in movies who allowed that who is allowing this who i need to know i was gonna cancel if i knew he was in this i would have been like all right well see you next week guys for the flash i just don't get it i don't i, I don't know i don't get the did someone tell me the appeal is of pete davidson please for the love of god it doesn't have to be a comment. It could be a text. I just, I just want to know. I don't get it. Finally, the big... Uh, I, I hate mentioning Marvel because, you know, it's just something that I feel like everybody does. But this, they started this, essentially. The big Marvel moment is they're connecting it to G.I. Joe, which 
There hasn't been a good G.I. Joe movie ever. So I don't understand. Like, I have no faith that suddenly they're going to be like, guys, we're going to make a good movie this time. Every G.I. Joe movie, there's been three of them, and they all sucked equally. Probably more. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't understand the connection of of going to G.I. Joe. I would I would have found another Hasbro intellectual property that they haven't touched to connect it to. Listen, man, as crazy I would have as crazy I it would as crazy as it would have been, I would have been like. Uh, we need uh, somebody on our team named Dom Toretto because he's fast and furious. I would have, I would have went with that more. G.I. Joe? What? That's it. Thanks for cringing. See you next time for The Flash. Uh, don't forget to participate in our little contest for a free digital movie. All right, bye. Thanks for cringing. Bye -bye. Yep.